And welcome back everyone for week 15 of the 2015 NFL season. That sounds really lucky to me. Plus it's my birthday this weekend, so I feel really good about the picks. Here they are. The first game we're going to look at has the Kansas City Chiefs going to Baltimore where the Ravens are seven and a half point dogs at home. Up until last week, Baltimore had been keeping it pretty close, at least when Joe Flacco was the quarterback, but now it could be anyone from Matt Schaub to Jimmy Clausen at quarterback, and that's just not, not good enough to beat a Kansas City team that's won seven straight, had covered six in a row until last week. They still won the game. I think they're going to win easily here. Seven and a half points isn't very much for a Kansas City team that seems pretty well unstoppable. So let's take Kansas City minus seven and a half. The second game we're going to look at has Cleveland going to Seattle where the Seahawks are 14 and a half point favorites at home. Wow. You know, the Seahawks lost Jimmy Graham the tight end, and, and since they did, they, I think they've become a better team. He's not a Seahawks type guy. The Seahawks like to punch you in the face on both sides of the ball. Graham's kind of a softy. Since he's been gone, Seattle has been absolutely lights out. Nice win and cover last week for the Browns. Uh, they had gone seven straight, uh, uh, losing against the spread until I picked them to lose last week, and naturally they won. But Seattle will give them the business this week. So don't be shy laying the 14 and a half. Take Seattle minus 14 and a half points. The third game we're going to look at has Atlanta going to Jacksonville, where the Jaguars are favored by three points at home. Yeah, well, when, when it's the Atlanta Falcons, you're going to be favored. I don't know what happened to the Falcons. They just fell off the edge of the earth after a good start. I think they've lost, what, seven in a row, they've lost uh, seven straight against the spread. A lot of the fault could be on the offense where um, quarterback Matt Ryan is number two in the league in interceptions thrown behind only Peyton Manning. Also, if you cover J Julio Jones, that's about it for the offense. So, Meanwhile, the Jaguars have scored 90 points in their last two games. I think they're going to do the same thing here. The small price to pay for a, a Jaguars team that still has a chance to win a uh, shot at, at their division. So let's take Jacksonville minus three. And the fourth game we're going to look at has Buffalo going to Washington where the Redskins are one point dogs at home. You know, the Redskins play a lot better at home. Uh, up until last week, uh, they'd only won, they hadn't won a game on the road all their wins were at home. Um, meanwhile, Buffalo's lost three straight road games in a real quirk. They, they have five of their last six games have been on the road. They haven't even, they've only played two home games since week six. I like Washington here. It's a very small price to actually get the point. I think Washington, Washington's going to win outright. So let's take the Redskins plus one. Here are my straight up plays. We're going to start off with a Thursday night game as Tampa Bay goes to St. Louis where the number is 41. Eight of the last nine games St. Louis have played have gone under the number, and I don't see any change happening here. So let's take under 41. The second game is one we just talked about. The Buffalo-Washington game is at 44. Washington defensively plays a lot better at home. Uh, they allow about 11 points less at home than they do on the road. So let's take the under 44 in that game. The third game we're going to look at has Carolina going to the New York Giants. The number's 48. I took Carolina over last week and didn't, you know, didn't get it because uh, although they scored 38 points, Atlanta got shut out. While the Giants are not Atlanta, they're going to put up 20 points no matter what. And, you know, Carolina's good for 35 on their own. So let's take over 48. And the fourth game we're going to look at has, has Miami going to San Diego. That number's 46. I don't think either of these two teams have much to play for. San, San Diego right now has in a chance to get the first overall spot in the uh, draft next year. I don't think they'll try. So the number's 46. That's way too high here. Let's take under the 46. Okay, here's my let's take the man's money parlay play. Like I said, it's my birthday this week, so I'm going to give myself a birthday present with a big win here. We're going to take six games. 
We'll take Jacksonville minus three. We'll take Kansas City minus seven and a half. We'll take Seattle minus 14 and a half. We'll take the Carolina and New York Giants over the 48. We'll take Miami San Diego under 46. And we'll take Washington on the money line. A $25 bet will win us $1,296.70. Here are my straight up plays for the week. We'll start off with the Thursday nighter. I like St. Louis over Tampa Bay. There's a game on Saturday, which is my birthday. I'll take the New York Jets over Dallas. On Sunday, I'll go with my Minnesota Vikings over the Chicago Bears. I like Jacksonville over Atlanta, a game I talked about. I'll take Indianapolis over Houston, but I'm not putting any money on that game. We'll go with Carolina over the New York Giants. A lot of people think the Giants are the team that can beat Carolina and their undefeated dream, but I think Carolina's just too good. They're going to go undefeated this year. Let's go with Carolina. We'll take New England easily over Tennessee. I like Washington to upset Buffalo, a game I talked about earlier. I'll take Kansas City over Baltimore. We'll go with Seattle over Cleveland. I'll take Green Bay over Oakland, but really hoping for Oakland there. Good luck, Raiders. I'll take Pittsburgh over Denver. Uh, we'll go with Miami to upset San Diego. We'll probably throw that game for the first overall pick. I'll take San Cincinnati over San Francisco, another game that could go the other way. I've gotten San Francisco wrong all year, so uh, keep that in mind. I'll go with Cincinnati in that game. The Sunday nighter, I'll go with Arizona over Philly in what should be a thrilling game. And the Monday nighter, I'll go with New Orleans over the Detroit Lions. Okay, and those are my picks for this week. Good luck to you. Remember to check out my website, geonose.com, and check us out on Facebook, the NFL YouTube Prognosticators page. I'll leave links below. Okay, for the Geo Knows YouTube channel, I am Geo. Let's take the man's money. <laughs>